Uh, hello, hello, guys. Uh, it's Bongi again. Here we have uh, a nice uh, tail. This is one of my favorites. You know, guys, I'm the biggest fan of this company. I like uh, tail machines. Okay, so here we have a charging, a charger. It's lighting up. So the problem here with this machine, as soon as you plug in the charger, okay, let me show you. Okay, let's wait for the light to glow again. See, now it's glowing. As soon as you plug in the charger, the charging light goes away. Okay, so you know the first thing that we do, we have to remove the screws, remove everything, and take out the motherboard. Let me go ahead. Okay, guys, uh, we have uh, the motherboard here. So, as always, guys, the first thing that you do, you do uh, the physical inspection. I always encourage people to do a physical inspection when they are dealing with a dead motherboard. Okay, so far, uh, I don't see anything suspicious here. Okay. okay I can see something uh, this capacitor okay there is a, a broken capacitor so let's have a look under the microscope I hope you will see everything clean and clear this is the microscope okay here we are Okay, see uh, we have a broken capacitor and then I'm not sure if this is a, a hole or what. Okay, no, 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 this is just liquid. Anyway, we have a broken capacitor. Uh, let's test and check for a shot. I'm gonna put my mic uh, near the multimeter so that you will hear. Okay, and this one is, is, is it's uh, shorted, even this one. Actually, actually, the capacitor, I mean, let's call them the shorts, it's this guy. This is the bad guy. Uh, let's go ahead and remove the bad guy. Okay, well, let me show you under the camera as well. It's good to see. Okay, so here, this is an easy job anyway, uh, let's go ahead and remove this guy, uh, after removing this capacitor, we'll go back and check uh, for shots again, because in my own opinion, uh, I believe that this capacitor is the one it is causing my shorts.
okay see guys uh, this is the bad guy uh, you can see as well uh, you can see as well it's broken okay it's broken and it's shorted so let's go back uh, where we removed uh, this guy and check for a shot okay it's here let's check for a shot that one wasn't coming on the one they're looking for. It wasn't coming on. See, no shorts. Don't know this guy. No shorts in, anymore. So yeah, our problem has been solved. So check on your bookings. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, let's put back the board and then and see if it's working 100% or not. Okay guys, uh, now we need to see, we need to test this machine, put back everything, we need to test,
have a look. Okay, the machine is on. The light is on, but we have nothing on the screen. Okay, it went off. It's turning on again. Tara, the machine is working 100%. Uh, anyway, the problem here, it was the 19 volts. Okay, the 19 volts was, uh, was shorted. So, the short was coming from that broken capacitor. It was allowing a uh, 19 volt to pass uh, straight to ground. And then the whole thing was grounded because of that uh, broken uh, capacitor. Let me turn this off. Okay, the machine is off now. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you are, you are learning everything step by step. So some capacitors, you can see them physically but some you can't and that's why i use a microscope some you have to use alcohol uh, there are plenty of ways of, of finding a short on the shorted uh, circuit anyway press the subscribe button and uh, i'll keep on posting uh, more and more videos uh, thank you so much guys